Saint Benedict of Nursia is the founder of Western monasticism. He was born in 480, in Norcia, Umbria, Italy, and died on the 21st of March 547 at Monte Cassino, Italy. Saint Benedict was canonized in 1220. He is the patron saint, against poison, against witchcraft, cavers, civil engineers, coppersmiths, dying people, erysipelas, Europe, farmers, fever, gallstones, inflammatory diseases, Italian architects, kidney disease, monks, nettle rash, school children, servants who have broken their master's belongings, speleologists, spelunkers, and temptations. The life of Benedict of Nursia is contained in the second book of St. Gregory's Dialogues. Benedict was the son of a Roman noble of Nursia, a small town. He was a twin to his sister Scholastica. His boyhood was spent in Rome, where he lived with his parents and attended the schools until he had reached his higher studies. Then giving over his books, and forsaking his father's house and wealth, with a mind only to serve God, he departed Rome during his late teen years. He settled down to live in Enfide, near a church dedicated to St. Peter, in some kind of association with a company of virtuous men who were in sympathy with his feelings and his views of life. Enfide, is in the Sambrusini Mountains, about 40 miles from Rome. At Enfide Benedict worked his first miracle by restoring to perfect condition an earthenware wheat sifter which his old servant had accidentally broken. The notoriety which this miracle brought upon Benedict drove him to escape still farther from social life, and he fled secretly to the district of Subiaco. He now was determined to be poor and to live by his own work. For God's sake he deliberately chose the hardships of life and the weariness of labor. On his way from Enfide, Benedict met a monk, Romanus and discussed with him why he was in Subiaco, and Romanus gave him the monk's habit. By his advice Benedict became a hermit and for three years, unknown to men. The monk visited Benedict frequently, and on fixed days brought him food. Upon the death of the abbot of a monastery in the neighborhood, the community came to him and begged him to become its abbot. Benedict was acquainted with the life and discipline of the monastery, and gave his consent. The experiment failed, the monks tried to poison him, and he returned to his cave. When monks tried to poison him with wine he made the sign of the cross over the glass and it broke. From this time his miracles seemed to have become frequent, and many people, attracted by his sanctity and character, came to Subiaco to be under his guidance. He brought back from death a child, miraculously supplied the monastery with flour and oil in its time of need and displayed the gift of prophecy. For them he built in the valley twelve monasteries, in each of which he placed a superior with twelve monks. In a thirteenth he lived with a few monks. He remained, however, the father or abbot of all. His sister Scholastica established a hermitage about five miles from Monte Cassino and this was the first convent of Benedictine nuns. With the establishment of these monasteries began the schools for children. The remainder of St. Benedict's life was spent in realizing the ideal of monasticism which he explained in his rule book. His motto was, in Latin, ora et labora, which translates to, pray and work. St. Benedict's feast day was moved to July 11th in the new calendar. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.